Hey guys, what's up? It's I, Jevin. How is everybody doing? I am back with another episode of the Mad Pack 2, and today we're going to be working on a skeleton spawner <clears throat> that we're actually going to put into the nether and hope that it spawns uh, good stuff here. So I've already crafted a couple things, and we're going to grab just a zombie head here. So to craft this, we need a head. Uh, it can be any head that you want. We need a capacitor. And two Vibrant Crystals. Vibrant Crystals are the Vibrant Alloy surrounded by, or an Emerald in the middle, and the Nuggets. And then, so the last thing that we're going to need is uh, Electrical Steel. There we go. I'm glad I have a little bit of that left. There we go. So this is a Powered Spawner. And so what I went and did was I, <clears throat> was I went and collected a, uh, a Zombie Spawner. Or no, a Skeleton Spawner. Here we go. So to make this work, we need to combine these two in the crafting square. I thought it was. Is there another way to do it? Do I like right click this? Oh, I must, do I put the spawner in there? No. There's gotta be a way to make this work. Okay, give me one second. Okay, so I was a little bit off. I actually need an anvil. I hope it doesn't cost a lot of a... Uh... Oh, I don't even have an anvil. Wow, really? I really thought that I had an anvil. Let me check. Uh, I'm not going to craft an anvil. We can we can literally go fly and get one. I mean, like, there is not a point to crafting one of those. That'll just be a waste of EMC. And this is why you don't make nether portals. Because <laughs> of these guys. I wish you would come over here. Anyways, I guess I'll just block this off. Anyways, uh, so so I wanted to make the second tier culinary generator. This is the first tier. The second tier requires this QED. So a QED is actually quite hard to craft if you don't have all the material. Uh, it takes like burnt crystals, ender quartz, it takes diamonds, uh, eyes of ender. And then you have to use this ender flux crystal to power it. It's like an infinite power source. And essentially what it does is it just transfers energy to it. So what I'm making is one of these transfer nodes that will go into my culinary generator. Um, other than that, it wasn't too hard to craft all that stuff, but just getting this done took the longest. Um, so what I'm going to do now after this is I'm going to get everything ready to go to the nether, and we're going to build ourselves a spawner and see if we can't get some endermen spawning. All right, guys, it's pretty much time to go to the nether, I think. I don't think I have... Can you even put hoppers in there? You can. Ooh, I should probably make one of those really quickly. Uh, we're going to go to the nether in just a second. I don't really want to go to the nether, obviously, but <laughs> the nether is kind of mean. I don't like it. I just want to get a couple um, a couple hoppers made really quickly. Iron. Two, three, four, five. All right, let's make a hopper, and then we'll put it in there and get a couple more back. Uh, chest. There we go. Hopper hop. There we go. So let's do like three. Let's get a chest. And let's do apples for our food. We'll start with that right there. Alright, so we have to kill the mobs in here again. He has a hundred and two health. Oh my god. What does he have so much health for? No, I guess I'll just rush him. I don't think they can actually hurt me. I don't take fire damage, you dummy. There we go. Get rid of all that. Alright, so it's time to go to the nether. I've got two uh, notch apples with me just in case. The game plan. Oh, you know, no, 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 no. Um, flint and steel. Don't want to forget that. That would have been bad. All right. Well then. <laughs> well then. How about that? Come right through and have a party, why don't we? Okie dokie. Uh, I'm gonna go right in over here, I think. This will be part. This will be fine. 
There we go. Yeah, right there is perfect. Okay, so now that we're actually inside and safe, I need to dig out a room uh, for this spawner. So I'm probably going to do uh, just like an 8 by 8 and then dig it up about 10 blocks and make it to where I can have them come and kill me real, or I can kill them real fast. Uh, so we'll do that and I'll be back in just a second. <laughs> All right, guys, so I've got just a small room dug out here. I'm going to go ahead and give this uh, setup a try here. I'm going to put the spawner on the ceiling, just, uh, I guess, sort of in the middle. Uh, like right here would be uh, sufficient. Um, all right, so let's make sure. You fool. I love how I just don't. I love the no fire damage from these charms. I can't wait till I get the no wither one. Dude, you know how easy it's going to be to fight the wither once I have that? <laughs> like, it's going to be so easy. I love it. Uh, okay, so let's see here. First, let's get that there. And... You. 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 And let me get rid of this one. So is that, okay, that is getting power. Power level 128%. It's already made 14,000 RF. This guy just shot me through the wall. <laughs> right. Anyways, our, uh, our little hidey point is over here. I have never done this before, right? So I don't know how this is going to work. Let me get rid of all this. And I'm also going to sort of... Who am I getting hit by now? This guy again? Annoying. Jesus. There we go. So if I if we did this right, uh, Wither Skeleton should spawn. The only thing is, I'm not sure how much power it's going to take. Is the problem? Um, so that 128, you know, R RF could like be gone within seconds. You know. Okay, so that's still only spawning skeletons. Really, they don't turn to. Uh They don't turn to wither skeletons then, huh? That is a big surprise. Oh, here we go. Fire skeleton. Uh, I'm a little confused because per, like, spawning rules of the nether, that should spawn a wither skeleton. Uh, I'm not sure how close I actually have to be by it, though. Um, it's got power. Wither? Oh, now it's spawning withers. Okay. So maybe this take a little bit of time then. That's a really slow spawner. Wow. I thought it would be a little bit faster than that, I'll be honest with you. I'm sure we can, uh... Did I already get a... I already got a skull. <laughs> oh my god. I haven't gotten necrotic bone yet, but that was freaking fast! Holy crap, I gotta love that looting! Yeah, but... Or no, this doesn't even... This doesn't have looting on it, does it? Okay, so it's sort of working the way we wanted it to. Alright, and we're definitely getting good XP, too. Huh. I might go back and get my... Do I have my cleaver on me? I do. Let me grab that. I want to see if it makes a difference, really. So slow. Did we get a bone? No, we still haven't gotten a bone. Um, 
That's weird. It seems like I got better drops with my uh, rapier. Huh. All right. Well, one thing I want to check here. Let me go ahead and get out of here again. How is this guy doing? So that's got no RF. This is almost full. I wonder how much RF it takes to spawn a skeleton. Hmm. Okay, well, how is our... Uh, our apples are doing good, though. Hmm. I wish I knew more about this thing. Okay. Your bloody arrows! Hmm. I'm like, I'm honestly starting to think that the necrotic bones are disabled. It's gotta be. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Okay, guys. That was sketchy. I was sitting here in the overworld, and I'm like, man, it is, it's really laggy. Like, why is it so laggy for? I forgot to turn the spawner off in the nether, right? I go in there, oh my god, there was like a zillion wither skeletons and like about half of them were infernal. Uh, so, luck if I wouldn't have had all that health boost, I would have died. But I um, I got them all killed. I was able to get one wither skull um, out of that. Um, I left with three, came back with four. So that is good. Um, the main reason why that is good is because now... I, uh, I have enough to make wither skeleton seeds, and so the the whole uh, idea between between the wither skeleton seeds is that you can make wither essence, and you can make the charm of wither with that. So four essence, four extreme essence, and a base charm makes that extreme essence charm. So we're gonna do that now. So let's go ahead and make these wither seeds. Uh, as soon as we get this done, we can actually fight the wither and be okay. The only thing is, I don't have soul sand. Uh, so I might have to actually go back into the nether. So we need an essence seed. I don't even know. I, I'm assuming the essence seed would probably be in my bag. There we go. Yeah, we have one. Um, yeah, okay. So we got an essence seed. Let's put that in the middle. There, there, and there. And, um, we need extreme essence. Extreme. So what this does is when you uh, make these seeds, you can craft wither skulls. And that's why it's so important that you get these. So boom, wither essence. Uh, we don't take poison damage anymore, so we'll be able to grow these no problem. I'm going to come back once I have a bunch of these finished, and I'll be back. Okay, guys. So going to the nether was a decent plan for the wither stuff. Uh, we you know, we got some enough to make up uh, wither seed, which is pretty important. I went ahead and made the Charm of Wither, which is really easy to make, actually. I thought it required skulls, and it's actually just the essence, so I've got, I've got like, five skulls just sitting around. Um, and I guess I'm thinking, where could we find an overworld Wither spawner uh, that would guarantee us Wither spawns? And I think I have the answer, guys. I think we might be able to find one inside a roguelike dungeon. So rather than... Um, Rather than, like, actually going to the dungeon, <laughs> uh, I think I'm just going to dig down, actually. Uh, all right, guys. We kind of had a bit of emergency here. Um, we're pretty much going to have to abandon this base right now. We have to get into AE amazingly fast, right? Uh, here's the deal. <laughs> uh, here's what happened. Uh, I was in here in this little hole right here digging a spot out for uh, a little spawner. I was going to try to get one of these spawners to work in here. And uh, I hit a silverfish. And then another silverfish spawned and threw a potion. At which point, about 700 silverfish spawned. I dug up and came through the front door. Uh, the entire base underneath of this, I don't know if you can see down there or not, but that's completely gone. Like... We're basically floating on a platform inside of a mountain right now. Uh, I'm sorry for the silverfish noise. I don't think there is much. I guess I could turn hostile creatures down. But yeah, there is, uh, there's quite a few silverfish down there right now. There's about 30 standing, but at one point there was about 700. Um, 
So I need to get into AE. You guys, um, I, I like. I want to show you the process. Maybe I'll just cut back once I kind of have the general stuff done. But uh, we need to get like all of this out of here immediately and move. Um, so I'm going to work on that now. Have you ever had one of those videos, if you record videos, that just does not go your way? This is that video for me. <laughs> All right, guys, so we are to a point now to where I can finally start finishing up AE. I made an acceptor, a drive, and a cable here, and I'm hoping that's going to be enough. I really don't want to have to craft a, uh, a controller. So we're going to start by making a big-ass chest with a search bar. Uh, big, there we go. Uh, so this is just your basic crafting monitor, but they just kind of changed the name of it. <laughs> uh, so the first thing that we're going to make is the calculation press, which is the inscriber calculation and a pure certus. So let's see, inscriber. And oh my god, my inventory is the worst right now. Um, let me see if I can get rid of some stuff here. Get rid of a couple piles of apples. I've been powering everything with this guy. All right, so we've got that. Uh, we'll need to make, uh, I'm assuming, the rubber. Yeah, let's go ahead and make um, this one. There we go. So once that's finished, we can throw redstone in the... Is it redstone? Yeah, redstone. Okay, there, there, there. And how's this doing? Okay, that's full. You need to make a sag mill to make uh, all the good stuff that you need. Man, I have, I've just been, like, nervous trying to get this all finished. Like, you have no idea. Uh, Alright, let's go ahead and make the logic press. Um, logic press. Gold. So we'll let that go. Uh, we'll need to do the same thing again. Let me take you... You, I, uh, you know what? I'll be right back. Let me turn all of my gold and the rest of my silicone, uh, or silicon into the molds already. All right, guys, I am back. So let's go ahead and continue on our quest for the big ass chest with the search bar. So the first thing that we need to make here is redstone, gold, or redstone, glowstone, uh, iron, and quartz glass. And I have redstone. I need glowstone. Actually, you know what? Glowstone, redstone, glowstone. I need iron. Irondel. There we go. Uh, it's been a bad moon, so I've been fighting off freaking um, those bastards the entire time. There we go. So there is our printed pantle. Pantle? Our printed pantle. Uh, big. And so we need to turn that into this, so we need these two, so it's going to take uh, charge, dust, and a logic, and it's going to take nether, dust, and a logic, okay? So let's go ahead, uh, the only one I'm missing is nether, booyah, so here, um, here. Oh, I need to combine my presses. Oopsies. Don't wanna drag it out. I'm glad that you can shift click your inventory. Uh, you couldn't do that when AE2 very first came out. Uh, and it makes me a happy Jevin. Uh, I might need to get some more gold eventually. There we go. There we go. I'll just use my pure. Uh, I gotta get some stuff out of my inventory here really quickly. Um, let's get the patterns out of here for now. There we go. That's a little better. And uh, so we got that one. We got that one. We can get that out of there. So what else do we need for that? Was it just another? Okay, it's just another logic. Boom, boom, boom. A2 is a pain in the butt, man. Uh. I wish it was still like AE1. And I guess it doesn't exactly matter, does it? There we go. So we have our ME terminal. Let me steal those back. Uh, so ME terminal, crafting table, and calculation press, which we already have. 
Uh, I mean terminal, and so we need four pieces of wood. El wood or Batman. One, two, three, four. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. I took Spanish. All I remember was the numbers. Because I'm a bad student. Big ass chest with a search bar. Boom. Okay, obviously this doesn't have power yet, but uh, I can fix that. Called an every generator. And where did we do with lay apples? Just grab a stack. There we go. Power she goes. She should have power. Is it not accepting my power? Weird. Ha. Huh. Well, oh, yeah, I think it's fine. I just need drives and stuff. Anyway, so we need to make 1K drives now. What do we need to make 1K drives? Um, okay, that's easy. So we need uh, 10 of the logic presses, and we're pretty much good to go. Takes regular Sirtis, right? Yeah, regular Sirtis. So let me make 10 of these, and I'll be back. Okay, guys, I am back. I have got 10 of my presses, and so now we need to craft the 1K uh, cells. There we go. And so do I have enough? I do have enough glass. I'm going to need redstone and a lot of iron. Uh, probably just a stack of each will do. Redstone, irondos. Do we have another uh, apple yet? Uh, we're close. We are close, my friends. 1K. My guess is called the following out. There we go. Yeah, we got the powers. Oh, yeah. We doing good. We about to move and get rid of this hellhole house. He's so bad. And one left. Okay, now we grinded through that, man. That was a close one. All right, um, I'm going to empty my entire inventory into this chest right here. And then I'm going to get everything. Um, if I can fit everything into that chest. There we go. All right. I need to turn shortcuts back on. Uh, I turn them off because it rearranges my inventory and drives me nuts. There we go. All right, I, I forgot that. Uh, yeah, where did it go? There we go. We might want to keep that on our bar. <laughs> that might be beneficial. I have so much. What am I taking poison damage for? I've got it right on my hot bar, yo. Right. Devnol, you're dumb. I'm still taking damage. Why am I still taking damage? I don't understand. There we go. There's my four wither skulls. Ooh la la. I guess we're just destined to take damage, man. Even with Devnol. Dev's no like no. It's probably because I shift clicked it into my inventory rather than picking it up. Makes a little bit more sense, I guess. Okay. That's pretty much everything besides that chest. So I basically all I've got to do now is just kind of go through here and uh, pick up all my machines and stuff. And then once I do that, we'll be we'll be good to go. Uh, that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. This is Ijevin. Peace out.